And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear. A man whom they took prisoner and hid away. A man whose name is Yahweh bin Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh bin Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, Olam shall, shall you hey wav hey. hey. The, the universe, universe of, of you hey wav hey. 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 Brought to, Brought to you, you by, by the nation, nation of you, of you Wafe, 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 working, working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death, this is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the day of judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse, and worse, and it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end time, the Messiah would be revealed. And at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh, featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Hey and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Hey. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Hey. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Hey, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us 
However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yisrael. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. And more specifically, we are discussing the fact that the first direct commandment that Yahweh ever gave to man was given to Adam in the Garden of Eden, which was to dress it. We told you that the word dress in Hebrew is a bod, spelled from right to left, ayin bait dalit, and it means worshiper. Worshiper is equivalent to celebrant, and celebrant describes a person who celebrates. By definition, celebrate means to observe a day or commemorate an event with ceremonies. So worshiper, as it relates to dress, means that Yahweh commanded Adam to cause the whole world to obey, comply with, or conform to, as law, the observance or celebration of the seventh day, as the Sabbath of Yahweh, to honor the memory of Yahweh for all his work, which he, Yahweh, created and made. Last week, we looked at yet another meaning of the word Sabbath in Hebrew. Using the New Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible, we documented that Sabbath means keep, and the word keep is synonymous to observe. Observe was defined as to conform one's action or practice to as a law. We affirmed that the word conform means to bring into harmony or agreement to, to be obedient. We read Exodus chapter 31 verse 16 and showed you that Adam's descendants, the children of Israel, are to keep and observe the Sabbath of Yahweh throughout our generations for a perpetual covenant. The words perpetual and covenant were defined. We concluded from these definitions that when Yahweh commanded Adam to dress the Garden of Eden, he was commanding Adam to bring all his actions into harmony or agreement with the law by practicing and keeping the Sabbath of Yahweh. Moreover, Yahweh was commanding Adam to make known to his descendants, Israel, and all people of the earth who join themselves to Yahweh, to serve him, to love his name, and to take hold of his written agreement or promise, that keeping the Sabbath of Yahweh is an everlasting, eternal, infinite, and never-ending agreement throughout our generations. And even more, Yahweh was commanding Adam to make known to his descendants, Israel, and all people of the earth who join themselves to Yahweh, that if they keep the Sabbath of Yahweh, then Yahweh himself would bring all of us to his holy mountain and make us joyful in his house of prayer. Today, let us examine why it is important for us to keep the Sabbath of Yahweh throughout our generations. Let's begin by opening our Bibles to Exodus chapter 31, verse 13, which reads, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yahweh that doth sanctify you. For it is a sign between me, Yahweh, and you, the children of Israel, throughout our generations. 
We see here that keeping the Sabbath is very important to Yahweh, so much so that it is a personal, direct sign between God, Yahweh himself, and you. This is so powerful. You just read it for yourself. Little you and I can send a sign directly to God, Yahweh himself, just by keeping his Sabbath. Let's learn something about the word sign. On the authority of the Random House College Dictionary Revised Edition, copyright 1988, on page 1223, sign means to communicate by means of a sign. Sign is synonymous to token, and token is equivalent to indication, manifestation, testimony, proof, or expression. The observance or celebration of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh is a direct indication to Yahweh that we are remembering him for the stunning beauty of all his work which he produced. Keeping the Sabbath is a direct manifestation to Yahweh that we are reflecting upon him for the startling and staggering symmetry of all that he designed and constructed. Moreover, celebrating the Sabbath is a testimony to Yahweh that we are honoring him for the amazing elegance and gracefulness of all that he formed and fashioned. Observing the Sabbath is proof to God, Yahweh, that we are esteeming him for the marvelous balance that he gave the universe. And even more, commemorating the Sabbath is an expression to Yahweh that we have our minds on him and are marveling over the incredible arrangement of all his work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made. We the children of Israel and all people who join themselves to Yahweh are commanded to keep this sign throughout our generations. Why? That we may know that it is Yahweh himself that doth sanctify us. What does this mean? According to Webster's New World Dictionary, third college edition, Copyright 1994, page 1187, the word sanctify means to make free from sin, to purify. On page 1092, the word purify means to free from sin. What is sin? This question is answered in 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, which reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the laws in the Bible, which are the laws of Yahweh. Keeping the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh is a law. Therefore, as the children of Israel, the Sabbath of Yahweh is an indication or proof between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to show that he has set us free from transgressing the law of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh. Even more, it is a manifestation, a testimony, and an expression between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to demonstrate that he, Yahweh, has liberated us from breaking the law of the Sabbath. In summary, dress as it relates to keep means that Yahweh commanded Adam to tell the children of Israel and all people who joined themselves on to Yahweh, that keeping the seventh day, 
the Sabbath of Yahweh is an indication, manifestation, testimony, proof, and expression between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to show that it, the Sabbath of Yahweh, is a holy day. That it is an holy day devoted entirely to reflecting upon, showing great respect for, and giving exclusive honor to Yahweh for all his brilliant, glorious, and magnificent work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made, that we may understand, realize, or recognize that Yahweh is God, and that he has set us free from transgressing the law of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh according to solar time. We told you in previous programs that the solar year begins on the vernal equinox. The vernal equinox occurred on March 21st. We showed you the facts to validate that a solar day begins at sunset and ends the next day at sunset. Therefore, the first solar day of this year began at sunset on March 20th and ended at sunset on March 21st. At that time, we began counting six days of labor and March 27th was the first seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh. On the Gregorian calendar, this is sundown Friday to sundown Saturday of each month. If you follow this counting cycle, this entire solar year 6002, then all the families of the earth can keep the Sabbath of Yahweh together as one. All of our lives, we have been taught that the Sabbath day was a day to fellowship together, to thank God for all of our personal blessings, and to ask Him for more blessings of the things of this world. However, dress tells us that Yahweh commanded Adam to keep the Sabbath and to teach the whole world that on the seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh, we are to give exclusive honor to Yahweh for all His work, His creation, which He, Yahweh, created and made. Next week, we shall continue to discuss the Sabbath and its relationship to dress. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mark D is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the enlightened one is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religions have been speaking of for almost 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. What does eternal life mean? Eternal life means life without end. It means forever. 
not only during the time of one's natural life, but through endless ages of eternal life and blessedness. To find out more, read The Messiah Revealed by Yahweh ben Yahweh. To order, call us at 1-800-967-7337 or check out our new website and online bookstore at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. What is the Tetragrammaton? What are the laws and teachings of Yahweh ben Yahweh? What is the meaning of the crucifixion? What are the laws of the covenant? How can you work to balance justice? How can you hear the voice of Yahweh? Learn the answers to these questions and many more on the internet when you visit the new Yahweh ben Yahweh website. The address is www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. The gentleness of Yahweh is making Yahweh ben Yahweh great. Yahweh is enlarging the steps of Yahweh ben Yahweh under him, that his feet do not slip. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh ben Yahweh from the strivings of the people, and he is making him the head of the heathen. A people whom Yahweh ben Yahweh has not known shall serve him. As soon as they hear of Yahweh ben Yahweh, they shall obey him. The strangers shall submit themselves unto Yahweh ben Yahweh. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Psalms chapter 18 verses 27 through 45. Yahweh lives. Blessed be Yahweh, who is the rock of Yahweh ben Yahweh. And let Yahweh, the salvation of Yahweh ben Yahweh, be exalted. It is Yahweh that is avenging Yahweh ben Yahweh and subduing the people under him. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh ben Yahweh from his enemies. Yes, Yahweh is lifting up Yahweh ben Yahweh above all those that have risen up against him. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh ben Yahweh from the violent man. Therefore, Yahweh ben Yahweh is giving thanks unto Yahweh among the heathen and singing praises unto his name. Great deliverance is Yahweh giving to his king, Yahweh ben Yahweh 
and is showing mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Psalms chapter 18, verses 46 through 50. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleikum. Yahweh ben Yahweh is giving thanks unto his father Yahweh, and he is singing praises unto his name. For great is the deliverance of Yahweh. Yahweh is showing mercy unto his son Yahweh ben Yahweh and he is crowning him with honor and majesty. In his truthfulness, meekness, and righteousness shall Yahweh ben Yahweh be lifted up, for he is worthy to be praised. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshemeyaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yase Razonka, Kivashemayim Kane Baaretz, El Lekum Kukenu, Tain La Nuhayom, Uslak La Nu, Ah Karti Enu, Kimosha Sol Kim, Gamanak Nu, La Koteum La Nu, Veal Tefi Enu, Lade Nisayom, Kim Kal Senu, Min Hara, Kilaka, Hamamlaha, Veha Givera, Veha Tiferet, Leolame, Olamin Sila, we thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and his Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleikum. To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call. 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, ask about the special discount on a global call to the remnant by Yahweh ben Yahweh. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the Divine Mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the Internet at the address on the screen.